Hey people, the day is going down. Hope you all had a great day. I had a session today with a woman who's so afraid to fall in love again that she's so guarded. Most people that get involved and fall in love and then shut down and I will never do that again, it is because they are not loving because love doesn't hurt. Love is not something we're looking for and outside. So when you choose to shut your life down because love didn't work out, honey, that wasn't love. When you're looking for love and an intimate partnership connection, first you would have to know what that is within yourself. So you'd have to be all self-loving and have that down. So then when you fall in love with somebody else, when you decide to create um, a relationship and see if this is going to set sail together, you have something to give. You're not looking to get from them. Oh, they're going to fulfill me and, you know, make me feel loved and happy. Right there, we didn't just enter love. That's a very immature way to move. You want to fall in love with somebody because of all the gifts and the abundance and the love you have inside of you, which is overflowing, and you could share it in a healthy way. And if that love doesn't stay and hang out, then that love wasn't your love. Because love is never something that's painful. Love doesn't hurt. Illusion hurts. So, blocking your life at the risk of getting hurt, you just hurt yourself right there. Go explore every avenue. And you don't have to search for love. When you're ready for it, it is added to you. It's not a real big deal. Because if you recognize love of yourself, and you have that, you know, hey, I love myself, I'm whole, I got it all, I'm self-sustaining, I don't need anything from anybody, in a healthy way, not a defensive, um, superior way, in a healthy way, because I'm self-sustaining, my being is my sustenance and all that cool stuff, because of that, um, my interaction with anybody is going to be pure and loving, and then if that anybody leaves and doesn't stay and decides to go elsewhere, I'm going to bless them where they go. But I'm keeping my address. Because I'm in love with myself, then I can love everybody. Anybody that you're meeting and sharing time with, love should be present. That's what we're made of. That's the whole purpose. So to be afraid to be in love or to get hurt, that's not love, baby. So you better redefine that. There's all these dating sites, and um, I'm not advertising any. I don't know. I mean, they're all out there. There's all these ways. But here's the truth. When you are ready, it'll show up at your door. You don't have to search for it. Your search is saying, I'm lacking something. I need this, and I have to go get it over there. And then over there has a real big burden to please you and make sure that you feel okay. You don't want to show up like that. You want to show up loving everybody on the planet because you recognize we're all students on this earth and everybody wants to be loved and accepted. So by practicing that love and acceptance of yourself, then what else could you give anybody? Don't think you're loving people if you're not loving yourself. You are not giving them love. This is a bargain of codependence. I need you. I need you to act this way. I need you to be healthy and okay for me to be okay. That has nothing to do with anybody else. That is all about yourself and your fear of losing something. So when you love, you just love. And it doesn't matter what they're doing. And if they hurt you and leave you and break your heart, say thank you and next. Because you're not losing yours, honey. You're just letting go of a lesson that wasn't for you. And then you bless them everywhere. You don't have to worry and toil over this. You have got to relax and love yourself so well that you're not even paranoid that somebody's going to hurt you or cheat on you or leave you. Who would want to lose the gem that you are? So know yourself like that. I'm so magnificent. That if somebody wants to lose me, I, I'm going to feel sad and sorry for them. So this evening, as the sun's going down, and if you're lonely and alone, 
do something about that. Read something. Go see some friends. Get involved in life. Life is not waiting for you. It's happening. And if you're grown and mature in your love of yourself, then your relationships are going to reflect that and you're fulfilled. Somebody else is never going to be your answer. You will always be your answer. Someone doesn't owe you love. Nobody owes you. You owe you. And when you recognize that you're in complete control of what you think and how you think and when you think, and you see the simplicity of life, that I'm moving this way because it feels good, and I'm inviting these energies in because I know what I deserve, then life is on your side. And that's all you want to know. You want to know you. So go love yourself. Have a blissful, peaceful night. And we will talk again soon. I love you. Mean it.